Hello everyone, this is Bintang and I'm currently doing a video about 5 simple steps to make exterior lighting and rendering in Blender 2.8. So hope you guys enjoyed and let's get started. So, the first thing, set up your 3D model. This is absolutely important uh, because you want to make sure that we set up our 3D model properly. Let's say you've got the 3D model from other application like SketchUp, which very often has a problem. So that's why you want to make sure nothing mess up with your 3D models, okay? Like maybe you want to check every object to make sure they are not having overlap faces or maybe some objects could be combined together to increase memory efficiency. Even make things more organized by having a proper naming convention for your mask, that's also gonna be helpful. Because all of this will be helpful at the end of the day. Alright, the second is identify your camera compositions. Okay, what I mean by that? The camera composition is like your chance to have a better image to show to your viewers, alright? So why not using that camera to make a good composition? You can go crazy exploring many types of composition. Here I just try to use a basic common composition like a rule of third. It is very simple. You just need to focus on one of the intersect point of the line and make sure your point of interest is somewhat there, okay? The third is, make sure to have a sky using HDRI. Why HDRI? HDRI or HDR image is great for exterior lighting. Because in real life, we never see the sky with a totally flat color. Even if you are in the middle of clear sky, like you can't really see a clouds, let's say. Still, you will see some blue gradients in the sky, right? Some area is brighter and the other is darker. So sky totally is not a flat color. So that's why you wanna make sure you choose HDRI to be your sky because it has so many color variations which contribute to our lighting. The four is put a proper materials or shaders. You also wanna make sure to use a principal BSDF as your base shader for like every important object in your 3D scene because it will make sure the surface that hit by light will have a proper behavior. So that's why use principal BSDF. So go ahead, give your objects a principal BSDF shader, okay? Next, let's use the magic of Cryptomat. I think not everyone knows how to use the Cryptomat, but in the studio where I'm working right now, we use Cryptomat a lot in our projects because we know that we can save so much time dealing with mates. It first introduced by Psyop, I believe. They make it for Nuke, the most popular compositing software on the market right now. But now Cryptomat also in Blender. Thanks for the Tangent Animation, the first studio who implementing this in Blender. Cryptomat allow us to pick a bunch of objects and convert it to a mat easily. Every bit of post-processing is important, so please do it. Here you can see that I have Photoshop file which consists of many layers within a group. So I can easily see what happened inside. Like I have a beauty group where I put the original renders and doing some touch up to that. Like maybe I want to smooth out the noise area like here and even like give a fake glass, like a fake glass on this part. Next I have a background group where I have the sky and any images that contribute as a background will be put here. 
But the most important things for me is this layer called color correction group, where I use a crypto mat and using curve adjustment layers, I try to mask some areas and give a proper balance for the colors. The other part of this post processing steps is more to do with giving elements that can make this image looks more interesting. Like maybe you want to put people so the image has a life going on. You can also give a bloom and vignette like usual. Other than that, you can just explore and give your taste if you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you feel like you have any ideas or questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this type of content, you can subscribe if you want to. Give me a thumbs up and see you on the next video.